Now at six, big events like the CWS can often be a prime time for criminals to take advantage of people. Counterfeit bills continue to make the rounds in Omaha and area businesses are on alert. The balls are still flying out of TD Ameritrade Park. The College World Series has not disappointed and with larger crowds expected over the weekend, the U.S. Secret Service has a warning for fans and businesses. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski explains. Another one, and this one pulled through the left side. Holt will score. The College World Series is known for making unknown faces household names. But local businesses are paying close attention to some familiar faces on $20, $50, and $100 bills. In the weekends are crazy. I would say we have, you know, anywhere from like five to 10,000 people coming out throughout those days. Adrian Losey with the slowdown says they create an outdoor concert venue and beer garden every year and with more cash exchanging hands, she says they tell bartenders to watch out for counterfeit currency. She says last Saturday night she warned all the workers there could be funny money reaching the registers. At about 20 minutes later, one of my bartenders had said that she had got an actual fake 100. Uh, so even just being alerted to, you know, which was a false alarm, she was even just aware to be like, Oh, this is fake, takes it. The suspect was able to get away in the big crowd. The U.S. Secret Service warns that large gatherings where cash is exchanged quickly can be targeted by criminals trying to pass fake bills. In just one day this week, the Secret Service received more than 30 counterfeit notes that were processed through Nebraska banks. The criminals, they basically want to find a place where they can deceive the, the general public, right? And we're seeing nowadays, I mean, the $20 note is the most highly counterfeited note, especially in the United States. The U.S. Secret Service says one of the easiest ways to tell if a bill is real or fake is to pull out a real one and actually feel it where you can feel the difference in the material. Adrian says they keep some of the fake notes that they've confiscated to show employees what to look for, like the security strip, watermark, and color changing numbers. We do try to do a training with everyone and just say, especially your big bills, like this is what you want to look for. And if you have questions, just take the time. It's, it's worth taking 30 seconds just to look at it. If, it. if it holds you up for 30 seconds, it's fine. You know, people are in line for a long time. 30 seconds isn't nothing to them. Reporting from NOTO, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. The Secret Service has more information on the security features on U.S. currency. We have a link on our website, 3newsnow.com. This is not the only case of fake money popping up in the metro. Cubby's gas station in the old market identified a fake $20 bill last weekend. The incident happened during their peak times on Saturday night. A special